We're at 249 Cottonwood Drive. It's got a circular driveway. Done a little bit of landscaping here. Be able to get any really good looks gutters and stuff with all the trees here but I'll um, try to they have this whole area set up as a patio section <clears throat> storage building. <clears throat> A little private and wooded blocks the other house. We got a awning that comes out. See if, uh, they left the crawl space open for me. So, sorry, I'm fighting with beads out here. And spiders. The crawl space does smell muddy. Um, it's got a dirt floor with uh, plastic over top. Hot water heater's there. It looks newer. Furnace back in here. It's actually up. We'll have to get the home inspector's information on that. But the beam looks good going across. Setting on the bricks all the way down. Lots of storage for canoes and stuff like that. Propane tank for my air gas. The siding looks really good. Um, all the way around the house and the foundation, the guttering is a lot to be desired. I think that definitely would need to be fixed. Um, some of the trim boards need to be painted here. I mean, you can see where the paint has been pulling. So it's going to need a coat of paint on the trim, even around the, the windows, uh, the trim board on the bottom, top, the post. <clears throat> and the roughest thing I've seen so far is when I went to make sure the front door was open, this front porch. Um, it's going to need some work. It just hasn't been cared for. It looks like it's uh, sinking a little bit. It feels sturdy, but it's definitely gonna need to be painted and filled and stuff. And again, the trimming issues around the, the house and the door would need to be painted. When you go in, come into the living room, gas fireplace. Selling fans. The dining room area. With sliding glass doors that go out onto the deck. 
It's a small deck. Um, it's going to need to be painted and stained also. Or sealed, I'm sorry. Kitchen floors look good. Cabinets all look good. It's got a little island. Looks like a pantry here. Yep. Little coat closet. Or no, not a coat closet, storage closet. Get some lights on here. So to my left is one of the bedrooms. Um, carpet in that bedroom would need to be replaced. And it would need painted. Double closets. Looks like there might be a little drywall tape repair job there. Actually, there's a couple of spots where there might be some drywall tape repair work needed. To my right is. Oh, I don't know. That's broken. <laughs> open it this way. The laundry room. Hall carpet would need replaced. This is the hall bath. It would need painted. Uh, maybe some drywall work there. Drywall work there. Trim would need painting. Hall would need painting. There'll be lots of holes in it. No holes. To my left is the second bedroom. Another full-size closet with little doorknobs that are broken off. This room, the paint doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty good. No smoke alarm. Carpet would definitely need replaced. Uh, probably new new outlet covers too. They all look really bad. Um, and this is the master. No light. Okay, that works. Um, double closets. Plenty of room for a king or queen size bed, full size bed, dresser, TV mount. And it does have a full master bath with a step-in shower. That's in good shape. Uh, I need some drywall work done up there. Drywall work done there. I was wondering why this one's a little bit more on the lower end. Now I'm seeing why this room would need painted. All of the stuff on the wall. So, actually, the closer I got to it, that's cobweb and dust. So, but there is a drywall repair there that would need to be done. A crack. Uh, so the foundation and underneath looks really, really good. It'll be interesting to see what the home inspector has to say because I'm seeing a lot of little things, more drywall tape issues. Going along the ceiling. Thermostat. So, uh, I mean, it definitely will need painting, new carpet. The decks need to be painted and sealed. But this is 249 Cottonwood. <laughs> 